part here. We're going to go ahead and read Haggai chapter 1 verse 9 all over again. And it says, You expected much, but see, it turned out to be little. What you brought home, I blew away. Why? Declares Yahweh Almighty. Because of my house, which remains a ruin, while each of you is busy with your own house. So this house that remains a ruin is talking about that house of prayer for all nations. That is the house that is still remains a ruin while each of you is busy with your own house. Meaning that our people, right? They want to go ahead and build up the house of their enemies. They want to be worshiping these false gods, exalting their names. So this is what's going on. This is why it says this here. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 17. Seldom set foot in your neighbor's house. Too much of you and they will hate you. Like a club or a sword or a sharp arrow is one who gives false testimony against a neighbor. Okay, so that's what's going on with the majority of our people. You see that? They are busy in their enemy's house you know, building up their enemy's house while their enemies hate them because there's too much of them. But then what they do, uh, you know, they go ahead and say that we are liars. The people who are trying to help them out. The people who are trying to make them come out of that house, right? The house of the wicked. Therefore, because of you, the heavens have withheld their due and the earth its crops. You see that? It's because of them. Remember, like it says, you know, your own words curse you, okay? So, pretty much that's what's going on with these people here. You know, they cannot receive the fruitful thoughts that the Most High Yahweh gives to you and me. That's the reason why they're miserable. That's the reason why they're going to and fro. You understand? Roaming. That's what it says here, look. In Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. Consult the Most High's instruction and the testimony of warning. If anyone does not speak according to this word, you see, because in the mind of these people, they're like, What are you talking about? I, we read out the word of the Most High every day. We quote the same scriptures you do. You see that? But again, right? If anyone does not speak according to this word, what word? What word? That's the key point here right because everybody think they have the word of Yahweh but what word this is the reason why it says this here starting at Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 20 the anger of Yahweh will not turn back until he fully accomplishes the purposes of his heart see that a lot of people don't see it. That's why it says, in days to come, you will understand it clearly. I did not send these prophets, yet they have run with their message. I did not speak to them, yet they have prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, they would have proclaimed, what? What it says there? My words to my people. And would have turned them from their evil ways and from their evil deeds see that you see that so again I must ask you what word okay what word that is talking about here is this talking about the word the same word that you Hebrew Israelite camps believe in is this talking about the same word that you religious people believe in it is not talking about that so what word is it talking about it is talking about the words of Yahweh that is being revealed to us now. Now. That's why it says this here. In Isaiah chapter 48 verse 5. Therefore, I told you these things, right? These things that you call the word of God. I told you these things long ago. Before they happened, I announced them to you. So that what? So that you cannot say that my Jesucristos, Jesus Christ, Shiva, Buddha, Allah brought them about. So that you cannot say that my wooden images and metal God ordained them. See that? That was the whole purpose of why the Most High created this word from long ago. See that? So what word do you people believe in? 
because the sincere, we believe in his words. See that? His words that you call the Holy Bible. His words that you call inspirational. You have heard these things. Look at them all. Will you not admit them from now on? You see that? Because what happened? The Most High Yahweh told you. Forget the former things. The Most High Yahweh told you that he was going to what? He was, he was going to create a new thing. Do you not perceive it? So from now on, I would tell you of what? Of new things. Not no New Testament. Not no Hesel Christos dying on the cross for you and the rest of the world. No. The new things that are being revealed to us now, which is his word. See that? Will you not admit them? From now on, I will tell you of new things. Of what? Of hidden things unknown to you. That is why this this that is being revealed to us all, to most of you, it is unknown to you. It is considered to be strange, foreign. You've never heard of it. Because why? They are created now and not long ago. That is the difference of having the word of Yahweh and the word of men. So, what word do you believe in? Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 28. Those who escape the sword and return to the land of Yahweh from Egypt will be what? Will be very few. Then the whole remnant of Yahweh who came to live in Egypt, right? Remember that? Those who want to go ahead and uh, take refuge in Pharaoh's shade, right? This is what it's talking about. And the whole remnant of Yahweh who came to live in Egypt will know whose word will stand. Mine or theirs. See that? That's what it's all about. That's what we're doing in these times and in these days. Okay? We are making a distinction between those who honor their God, those who what? Who speak according to his words, and those who do not. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 21. Distressed and hungry, right? Because why? Because we already talked about how they will not be able to enjoy the fruitful thoughts, right? Because why? Because they do not believe. Okay, so they're going through that spiritual famine. Distressed and hungry, they will roam through the land in their mind. That's what it's talking about. Lost in their mind, constantly going to and fro, waiting for their Hamashiach, waiting for their Hesuchristos, their Idushai. They will roam through the land. When they are famished, they will become enraged. And what? And looking upward will curse their king and their God. As they are doing today. See that? They don't hate us. They hate their king and their God. Remember that. So that's the reason why they are the enemies of the Most High. That is the reason why the Most High says that he will no longer have mercy on them. His blessings shall be withheld from them. They will not receive the fruitful thoughts. They will not be able to, you know, discover the secrets, the hidden things the Most High Yahweh has revealed to you and me. Praise Yahweh for that. Then they will look towards the earth and see only distress and darkness and fearful gloom. And they will be thrust into what? Into utter darkness. Remember that? Remember we talked about that utter darkness? Not knowing what to believe in, worshiping the gods of the dead, right? Choosing death rather than life. That's, that's that right there. Being thrown into utter darkness. Because why? Because they won't be able to get it. They won't be able to get it, you know? After a while, these people are going to think, Oh, okay, so so God really hates me. All right, so then I'm going to hate God too. That That's what happened. Remember that? Remember with Pharaoh, you know, he, he hardened his heart towards God once he seen that God was not in his favor. Well, that's why a lot of these people will become enraged because they're going to finally see that, you know, the Most High is not with them. You know, who, what they thought was God was a lie. 